Hello, Marilyn, Luis, Mario, and Matiel. Thank you for being on time. Welcome to today's class. This is the last class for this module. I'm happy to see you here early. How was your day? Hello, everyone. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Are you happy because you finished module today? Yeah, yeah, very happy, very happy. More <laughs> or less, more or less. <laughs> Luis, you're going to go to bed early a couple of days, and then I guess that you will continue with your module number four, right? Yeah, yeah, for school. Okay, nice, excellent. All right. Hi, good so, evening, teacher. Good evening, Matiel. How are you doing today? Hi, uh, great. What about nice. you, teacher? I'm doing well. I cannot complain. It's been a good day. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> besides, good. yeah. Besides the every day's nightmare, everything is okay. <laughs> Are you happy because uh, today finished the model? Mm, <laughs> uh, somewhat, yes. Uh, because well, I'm going to go to bed early a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> then uh you know um, i miss teaching I, I really like teaching and uh sometimes it gets like oh now what i had to do watching a movie or what did i do <laughs> i've been teaching like uh for maybe four years teaching uh, online at night so it's become a a habit for me so yeah so it's, it's difficult when we finish model i said what do i do now <laughs> mm. So, but yes, and somehow, and I'm happy because most of you are uh, here from the very beginning and you have been learning and practicing. So I'm happy for you too. Thank you so much, John. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure for me. Okay, um, so we're going to continue. Let me share a screen so that we can uh, refresh. Yesterday we were talking about um, we were describing purpose with infinitives and also using the for, et cetera. And we complete the exercise A, okay? And we were uh, making a suggestion matching. Uh, so as you hear, see here, the goals is this, they start with the infinitive clauses, infinitive clauses with for and it's like uh, expressing purpose. En las metas de, 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 que tenemos acá como ejemplo empiezan con los infinitivos para propósito, que es donde viene for. Acá lo vemos, in order to. Acá tenemos to solito, for, and then to again. Eh, eso es para... Eh, para expresar como las metas y la sugerencia de lo que se debe hacer para eh, alcanzar esta meta que se escribe acá. For a health club to attract new people in order to run a profitable restaurant, to establish a successful dance club, etc. Eh, now, eso lo hicimos ayer. Ahora vamos a también la parte B. Solo nos quedó pendiente la parte C en la que nos vamos a basar en esta picture que tenemos ahí. Uh, it says, look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay in business, what should be done? Look at this. This cafeteria or this coffee shop is a mess. Uh, it's, it's, it's really messy. It looks dirty. It has a lack of personnel as well. It's a, I see this boy is really busy trying to smile and maybe doing a well, he's serving coffee and probably he's a cashier too. He, he's multitasking, but uh, there is a five person in queue. So yes, it, a lot to be done here in this cafeteria or coffee shop. And we have one example here. For this coffee shop to stay in business, it needs, well, my suggestion would be for this coffee shop to stay in business, it needs uh, to hire more personnel. It's impossible to run that, that uh, coffee shop with just one person. 
So what are your suggestions? Remember that your suggestion can start with an infinitive, like for, in order to, and to. Plus a, a verb or a noun, it depends. How, how are you going to uh, say your uh, suggestion? Let's think a little bit about it and let me know what are your suggestions. You can write them down if you feel better doing so. That's fine. Ready with your suggestions? What do you suggest for this coffee shop to stay in business? Me, teacher. Yes. I think the the owners should should hire staff in order to give them more uh, give them um, better service. Yes, in order to provide a better service to assist the customers. Yes, and or and also to clean. <laughs> They need yeah. to clean their it's yes. Okay, very good. Is there any other suggestion? I think that in order to uh in order to stay in business, they need to invest uh, invest more in decorations to give a fresh look to this cafeteria or a more fashionable look, since it looks uh, quite messy. Okay, so thank you so much for your suggestion. So we're going to continue in the next exercise. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, here we have our broad pipe, but um I'm not sure that we are going to to be able to complete this role play. So um we're going to continue with this conversation. It says I thought you'll never ask. Let me play the recording and then at 820 we're going to run the satisfaction survey. So I think that we still have time to uh, practice and complete this conversation exercise. I'm going to share sound with you. Let's listen to the conversation. As you see, uh, well, on the picture, we see like a, a nightclub or maybe people having a party. Let's listen to the conversation. The topic is, I thought you'd never ask. Page 80, exercise seven, conversation. I thought you'd never ask. Part A. Listen and practice. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, there you have the conversation. Is there any question? Okay, I'm going to play the um, recording again. Yes? Me, teacher, me, me, um, what means um, because it's always packed? Uh, packed is a synonym of crowded. Uh, okay. Full of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you teacher, for your question. Yes? What does it mean brand new? Uh, brand new is nuevo. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Siempre que digamos brand new se refiere a algo que es eh, nuevo. Eh, aplica, por ejemplo, en este caso está aplicándose al, al lugar, ¿verdad? Ajá, everything is brand new. Dice que todo está nuevo adentro del lugar. Eh, pues me imagino se refiere a los, las mesas, a las sillas, al, al baño incluso. Hay lugares que ya se ve como que el baño está bien viejito, descuidado, las muebles, las sillas. Y eso a veces no es como atractivo o deja de, eh, causa mala impresión. Entonces cuando todo está brand new, cuando todo está nuevo, eh, es atractivo, es, es bonito estar en un lugar donde todo es nuevo. El brand new se puede aplicar a, ya sea también a, a, a carros, a aparatos. Por ejemplo, usted compra un celular y no es de segunda, sino que es nuevo. Eh, le puede llamar, a, I bought a brand new cell phone. Si quiere especificar que compró un celular nuevito de paquete, a brand new cell phone. So that's very sí, useful sir. vocabulary. Mm -hmm. um, um... Other other phrase, fashionable people. Ah, uh, fashionable es fashionable es gente que eh, anda siempre bien vestida a la moda. Es uh, fashionable a la moda, moderno. Es fashionable y el fashionable se le puede aplicar aquí. Bueno, está hablando de la gente, verdad? Que hay mucha gente. Eh, pues bien, este es como decir que son good looking, lucen bien, andan a la moda, son friendly. Eh, también se le puede llamar a un lugar que decimos, this restaurant is really fashionable. En un restaurante nos parece que está como a la es vanguardista, a la moda, es fashionable. O como decimos de caché. 
de caché, ajá, fashionable. Ajá, también se es el, a las personas o lugares que como no, le conocemos muy bien de caché, se le llama fashionable. Y les repito, aplica a personas y a lugares. Cuando algo se ve como viejo y descuidado es old fashioned. Old fashioned. Que sería lo opuesto de fashionable, old fashioned. Any other question? Okay, I'm going to play the conversation one more time and I'm going to stop the recording so that you can repeat at home. Page 80, exercise seven, conversation. I thought you'd never ask. Part A, listen and practice. What's your favorite club, Ben? The so The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, now that you've practiced at home, we're going to stop for a little while and uh, we're going to start the satisfaction survey. After the satisfaction survey, we're going to continue with the exercises from the guide or the handout that I sent yesterday. So let me stop sharing and I see uh, maybe there's a couple of people who are new here. Eh, tenemos un par de compañeros que son nuevos en este módulo. Entonces vamos a primero empezar con el video de cómo se llena la, la, la encuesta. Luego les voy a proporcionar los datos en caso que, para que los tengan ahí a la mano en el grupo, en el chat. Y pues luego vamos a ir paso a paso todos para... Eh, evitar, ¿verdad? En la manera de lo posible, no de equivocarnos. Entonces, voy a compartirles el video. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico. Y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo.
igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán, las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así. Que acabamos de ver el video explicativo de cómo llenar la encuesta. Le voy a proporcionar ahorita los datos nuevamente en caso de que no los tengan a la mano. Los datos del curso, ahorita se los copio. Se los voy a pegar en el chat. Ahí están los datos del curso. En el eh, meeting chat, eh, orden de inicio, tienen, les aconsejo que copien y peguen, ¿verdad? Todo tiene que ir exacto como está ahí, los números con guiones, etcétera. 
¿verdad? Y voy a compartir pantalla para que vayamos viendo siempre el paso a paso de la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, vamos acá, es lo primero que está aquí en los datos del curso, ¿verdad? La orden de inicio. Es todo ese número completito, lo pueden copiar y pegar. Todos tienen el enlace de la encuesta, me imagino. Luego su nombre completo, tal cual como está en el DUI, como se inscribieron. En el número 3, deberán describir su correo electrónico, el mismo que proporcionaron para inscribirse al curso, ya sea... Eh, si fue el personal o el del trabajo, ese tienen que poner ahí, el que proporcionaron para eh, su dato de inscripción. Asimismo, en el número 4, su número de celular, el mismo el que, pro el que proporcionaron en sus datos para inscribirse. Luego seleccionan acá en el número 5, sexo, seleccionan femenino o masculino. Departamento de residencia, recuerden que aquí está un menú, un drop down, y luego pues ahí seleccionan su de departamento de residencia. En el número 7 van a escribir el municipio de residencia. En la empresa donde trabaja, ahí deben de, eh, la mayoría pues también lo tienen en el correo, ¿verdad? Eso ya es, y cada quien, so ahí, cópienlo y péguenlo como aparece ahí con razón social o como les aparezca el nombre de su empresa donde trabaja. Luego en el número 9, el proveedor con el que se capacitó. Ahí van a dar clic y van a buscar inglés corporativo Regal International. Este es el que deben de seleccionar. nombre del curso, ahí ustedes escriben inglés intermedio módulo 3, también les está en el CAC, es el nombre del curso. Al finalizar ahí, van a valorar estos aspectos eh, relativos al curso el tiempo para desarrollar el curso, si fue, ahí vamos de insuficiente a excelente. ¿Qué opina del contenido, la estructura del curso? Los temas que se han visto. Eh, las opciones, herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso. Este, eh, Zoom, por ejemplo, etcétera, lo que hemos estado empleando para desarrollar las clases. La fecha de inicio también está ahí en el chat. Inició el 9 de agosto, entonces aquí lo pueden seleccionar, aquí pueden buscar agosto una fichita, 9 de agosto seleccionan. La fecha que finaliza, que es el día de hoy, 12 de septiembre, igual a este el calendario, solo hacen clic. Y seleccionan 12 de septiembre, la fecha de hoy. En el 14, recuerden que este, eh, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de complementar el curso? Eh, al dar satisfecho, se entiende que usted va a continuar con los siguientes módulos. Insatisfecho, se entiende que usted no va a continuar estudiando acá sus módulos de inglés 
otros cursos que sean de interés, ahí pueden poner marketing digital, Excel, algún otro curso que sea de ese interés. Y pues ahí en comentarios, cualquier eh, comentario, sugerencia que ustedes tengan, ¿verdad? Luego le dan enviar y no olviden tomarle la captura y enviarla al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Vamos a esperar, ya recibimos tres, creo. Vamos a darles tiempo y cualquier duda, pregunta, estoy aquí pendiente.
Ya recibimos 14. Recuerden que es parte de los requisitos. Nada más estarían faltando cuatro participantes de enviarla y seguimos. Seguimos con la clase. Okay, thank you so much everyone for sending your um, satisfaction survey. So we're going to continue with our class. Okay, uh, this is the conversation that we were practicing before um, before the survey. Uh, so do we have volunteers to role play this conversation? Let's do. To volunteer. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Another volunteer. Magdiel, thank you so much. Okay, you can start. Okay, um, what's your favorite club, Ben? The South Club, they have fabulous music. And it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That that's funny. There's always a long way outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. What do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and new, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. All right, I hear the reason people people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, very well done. Thank you so much for role playing. Um, so you see, it's like um pretty simple, but we learn new vocabulary here. Aprendimos un poco de vocabulario, ¿no? So that's nice. Very simple. Now, um, what are some popular places here in our country or in our city? Can you mention some? Sorry? Los planes de renderos. Oh, los planes de renderos. Okay. And it is always packed. <laughs> yes, because every, all the people from the, from the cities looking for a, a good weather. I mean, some mm -hmm. very warm and the planet is very, not so cold, but it's very windy. 
Okay, yes, that is true. Uh, it is usually very hot and the nearest place to enjoy with a good weather is the Planes de Renderos. Otherwise, you will have to go to El Cerro Verde Center and that's quite far from the city. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Um, any other place? Another popular place? I have heard that Catenango is, is, is very nice. I've been there, but the last time I went to Volcatenango, I think it was like uh, uh, one year ago, I guess, or two, one or two years ago. So I don't remember, but they said that it's like the Disney World in El Salvador. Have you been there recently? No, teacher. No. I think in another pla other place that is popular in this month is Mr. Donald restaurant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's every day is packed. <laughs> yeah. September at least. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Have you have your donuts already? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no. Okay, don't go for the uh, the ones that I that are supposed to be filled. <laughs> Las rellenas son una estafa. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, ya tomé mis donas de septiembre. Okay, so thank you so much for sharing your opinion. Now, do you um do you ever go to any of these places? Well, Mr. Donut, yes, of course, because you can get fresh donuts and a cheaper price. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that will be it for the conversation. And then we have some other exercises here, the grammar focus. We also have um, these clauses to give reasons. We also use uh, because, since, as we were practicing for, do to and the reason that or the reason why. Um, let's listen. Let me check if I'm sharing some with you. Um. Page 81, exercise 8, grammar focus. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fantastic music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. Okay, so those are like uh, connectors to give reason. Eh, como hemos estado estudiando estos días, eh, ahorita vamos a practicar con estos que nos sirven para, para dar razón. Para, uh, recuerden que no solo es because, aunque es el que más comúnmente usamos, ¿verdad? Pero eh, hay otras opciones que son similares a because y, y pues así ya sonar un poco más... Eh, avanzados, más like native speakers, so you need to use like other words um, besides because. Um, en similar because tenemos el since, que ya habíamos visto que el since como de tiempo, es como decir desde, ¿verdad? Pero eso es cuando hablamos de tiempo, es desde. Pero para dar razón, cuando vamos a dar una razón, es, es igual que en significado que because. Uh, since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. Me está diciendo que por la razón o, o el porque siempre eh, está tan lleno es que siempre hay una larga fila de espera afuera del club. So since and because tienen el mismo significado. Eh, también se puede utilizar because of como decir por razón de o por la razón, por tal razón, ¿verdad? It's popular because of, 
de fashionable people. Eh, eh, otro también se puede utilizar for nada más solito. Eh, the Soul Club is famous for its fantastic music. Como vimos anteriormente, el for puede seguir a uh, ir seguido de un sujeto, de un noun, como es acá, for its fantastic music. Cuando el for, en el, y lo estamos utilizando para dar una razón, va seguido de un verbo, el verbo tiene que ir en qué forma decíamos. Do you remember? No. Si después del for como eh, conector para dar una razón utilizamos un verbo, el verbo va a ir en gerundio, quiere decir con ing. Eh, como decimos, si queremos decir que el, el Club Sol es famoso por, eh, digamos, por tocar música electrónica, entonces el play tendría que ir en gerundio, playing. Y nos quedaría la oración, the so club is famous for playing electronic music, como por ejemplo. Esa es la diferencia con el for, ¿verdad? De que vaya a seguir, si después del for ponemos un verbo, se va a ir con ing form. Do to es de for debido a, debido a las eh, crowds, de las um, muchedumbres sería, como personas, mucha gente. Due to the crowds, the Casa Blanca, it's difficult to get into. Y the reason that, or the reason why, es, es lo mismo. The reason that, the reason why, pueden usar cualquiera de las dos. Eh, no hay diferencia en meaning. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. Okay? And you use the verb to be there too. And that's about the grammar focus. And then we have this exercise. Remember that you do have this in the handout I sent yesterday. So I'm going to share from there so that you see. Eso es lo que estuvimos trabajando ayer. Así es que ahí lo tienen en el grupo de WhatsApp. Es lo que mandábamos. Giving reasons es lo que les acabo de explicar. And the instructions for the next exercise. Complete the paragraph with because. Since, because of, due to, and the reason. And then compare with a partner. More than one answer is possible. Ahí pues hay posibilidad de que más de alguna respuesta sea la correcta porque algunos son similares o iguales en significado. Algunos de estos conectores para dar razón. So I'll give you time and remember if you are working from, um, from your computer and the... Uh, PDF, you just select the letter T and you can start typing your answers in this document. I'm going to stop sharing and uh, I'll give you a chance for you to work in group so that you can read together and decide what is the best option to complete the paragraph. Let me create the breakout rooms. Uh, for you to be able to work together. There you go. in the PDF.
Hi, good evening. Hello. Yeah, sorry. sorry, teacher. What we are going to do? Uh, you're going to complete the paragraph that is in the handout that I sent yesterday. Do you have it handy or do you want me to send it again? <laughs> the intermediate tree review, right? Uh-huh. Page number seven. Okay, let me let me share my screen. Page number seven. Uh huh. That's correct. So there you have to complete uh using um. A uh, connector to give reason. It's part A, complete the paragraph using the connectors that you have in the grammar focus. Thank you. Is one of the most famous, most popular correlation network. I think it is one of the most popular correlation networks in the world. People love MTV, not only for its music videos, I think. Well, spin. People TV, not only. So, level and it is but also it is clever. But also because it's clever. Mm-hmm. Keeps it shows up to the moon. Remember that you have different options. Tienen varias opciones que, por ejemplo, because y since eh, son el mismo significado. So, para no repetir, eh, MTV is one of the most okay, popular. Ajá, uh -huh, porque 44 is es como muy. Uh -huh. Estamos repitiendo bien seguidito, entonces uh, es el objeto, es la razón de la que tenemos diferentes opciones para dar razones, evitar la repetición. 
Si recuerdan en la conversación tenían crowded y después packed, que significan lo mismo, pero que... Uh, but also because of can be because of but also because of its clothing and to the economy. Well. That it keeps that it keeps its shows up in meaning on people watching TV for a lot of Es válido, es válido that, why, the why, mm, bueno, lo conocía why más como de pregunta, pero sí, también para razón, para la razón. Uh, that's why ah, es pero como, va unido es, con the reason. And that's why. Keep it show up to the moon. People watch MTV for the stars, music, and fashion. It is also one more. One more. Pero que aquí, no. Because, because of, again. Watching is to see the reason why. So many people watch it just to see all the fashion and just interview reality shows. These shows are popular.
Okay, we're going back again in the main section. So let me check attendance before we check your answers. Let's say present when you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez. Emerson Alexander López. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara Baquerano. Present teacher. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. José Enrique Pineda Tobar. Present teacher. Okay. Julissa Yamilet Pialta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Matiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Victor Noé Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Vidal Byron Way. Present teacher. William Alexander Rosales. Okay, we we'll complete the, the attendance check-in. Let me share my screen with you so that you can check your answers for the paragraph. I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay, remember that more than one answer was possible in some case. So I'm showing all the answers. The first one that we have, let me enlarge this. Thing. Okay, so it is my MTV is one of the most popular television networks in the world. People love MTV not only because of its music videos, but also because of or due to. There you have two options in the second um, line, because of or due to. It's clever and diverse programming. And then you can start with since or because. Cualquiera de las dos opciones. It keeps its show up to the minute. Young people watch MTV for the latest fads in music and fashion. MTV is also well known for its music awards show. And then you could have the reason why or the reason that. So many people watch this is to see all the fashionable guests. MTV even has reality shows. These shows are popular because they appeal to young people. So what is this popular? The answer was because. And then 
in the last part, you could have because of or due to. MTV's widespread popularity, many teenagers have become less industrious with their homework. Okay, Um. any questions? Les voy a mandar la respuesta a WhatsApp para que les queden ahí. You have any questions with this exercise? Were your answers correct? Any comments? Victor. Yes. I were reviewing my progress in the course, and I noticed that in the my course exam, I have problems with some answers that I have done will add at homework. Okay, so you have uh, most of your answers are correct, you're saying? Yes, it is correct. And um, for parts uh, the midterm, uh, no correct. Ah, on the midterm exam? Yes. Oh. So you need help with the platform? Yes. And the midterm exam. Okay, so we're going to uh, stop a little while and check in the platform. Intermedio, uh, intermedio, midterm. Okay, I'm in the platform. What is the uh, exercise number you need help with? And part four. Yeah, number one. Yes. Mm. Okay, the whole exercise. Exactly. Uh, number one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, right in in homework? Uh, the correct the Okay, so in this in, in this first part of the midterm exam, you need the number one, two, and three. Yes, and the answer uh, is correct in, in the homework. Okay, you have it correct in the homework, but it's, um, yes, I think that there was a difference here and we, um, I, we saw it, I remember. I remember that they were not like exactly the same or there is a, a, a difference here. So let me copy them and send them in the meeting chat. So you have the number one. You can copy and paste, try. Try to copy and paste to see if it works. Because, okay. uh huh. Maybe uh, I think that there is one extra word in the number two that is not in the exercise and the homework exercise is something like that, I remember. Oh, yes. And also probably you need Thanks. to add the period. Thanks, teacher. Okay, there you have the three. Um, try them and let me know if it works. Okay.
Okay, is there any other, other exercise you need help with? Anybody else? Remember that today is the last day. I think that uh, half of the group have already completed the platform in the morning, but some, some others are missing the exercises. So remember to complete them before midnight. And if you need help with any exercise, Let's, um, we can solve it right now because I'm, I'm in the platform already. So is there any other question? Do you need help with any other exercise? No? Okay. Hmm? No? Okay, Joe. Okay. It's complex. Okay, great. Thank you so much for confirming. And if anybody else needs help, just let me know. Okay, uh, for the next exercise in part B, uh, we have what reasons explain the success of each situation? More than one answer is possible as the previous exercise. So you will do it individually and then we're going to compare ideas here in the group. Um, so we have the situation. Nokia is a successful company and then you match the reason that you think is why. The reason uh, for that situation. Um, like uh, number two, people love Levi's Le jeans. The BBC is well known. Huge supermarket chains are popular. People everywhere drink Coca-Cola. Apple products are famous. Nike is a popular brand of clothing and maybe people like mega store. And then in the on the other side, you have the reason. Since prices are generally more affordable. So I think the reason A matches maybe uh, can be A. Many people like mega stores since prices are generally more affordable or definitely it's not the number six. <laughs> Apple products are more famous. No, definitely it doesn't match letter A. So you have to match them according to what you think and then we're going to compare. I'll give you time. Remember that you can work from your PDF file or you can do it in your notebook. Hi, teacher. I have 
problems with the exercise on this section two? In section two. Uh, okay. Let me, I need to stop sharing, I guess. Uh, what is the exercise number? Part four. This is the section two. Yes, section two, midterm. Ah, that's a midterm exam. Let me. Midterm. So that would be uh, the same, this one? Part four, midterm exam. Yes. Okay, and which exercise? One, two, and three. Uh, the one, two, and three, I. they are in the meeting chat. Can you see them? Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. I uh, have to copy all and paste all. Yes, copy and paste that they are uh, number one, two, and three. They are the ones that I copy and paste in the meeting chat. Okay, thank you, teacher. I'm going to try that right now. Okay, and let me know if it works. Yes, teacher, it works. Thank you. Excellent. Let me know if you need more help. Thank you. You're welcome.
Hi, teacher. I have issue also with the part one and exercise five. Uh, you are mute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so you're having issues with the part one, section one, or the midterm exam? Yes, and the same, midterm exam. Okay. Part one. Okay. Uh, part one, what exercise number? Five. It's this one. Which one? I can see your screen. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, but the number five is it. What it says, many distributors? Yes. Uh, organizing the sentence, let's see. As the last exercise is the number five, right? Many yes. distributors would rather much sell our product at a lower price. I copy and paste in the meeting chat. Okay. Let me let me know if that's the word going to. Yes, it works. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Let me know if you need help Thank with the you. other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the rest of you, have you finished matching the situations with the reasons? What do you have for number one? Little F teacher. Okay, so you have Nokia is a successful company. For no, their letter, letter D. Letter B. D. For their innovative designs. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes that can be. And uh, anybody else? We can go and complete the section C as well. Uh, Magdiel said that Nokia is a successful company for their innovative designs. Anybody else? You can say, I think another reason, as you see here in 4B, I see another reason why Nokia is a successful company is, um, is because of their big choice of product can be. What do you have? Do you have any different answer? Nobody else? Well, I'm not quite sure, but which is letter A. Letter? A. A. Since their prices are generally more affordable. Mm -hmm. Yes, that can be it too. Um, remember that more than one answer is possible. And we are comparing like we have in part C. The, like Magdiel said, Nokia is a successful company because, um, or for their big choice of product. And Emerson can say, I think another reason why they are successful is uh, since the prices are generally more affordable. So yes, I, I, your answers are very good. Uh, now, people love Levi jeans. What do you have? People love Levi jeans. Uh, letter C, because they have always been fashionable. Mm -hmm. Another reason, anybody else, another reason?
maybe um i think that people love levi's jeans um because uh the advertising is clever and entertaining at least it used to be as far as i remember <laughs> Now, the BBC. The BBC is well known. What do you think? What do you have? The BBC is well known. I got a letter E. Because of its informative program. Okay, excellent. Does anybody else has another reason? No, nobody else? Okay, the huge supermarket chains are popular. What do you have? The letter B. B is huge changing the record. I choose letter B. Does it do due to its ever changing telegram? All right, yes, excellent. Um, and also, I think another reason is um, um, for their big choice of product can be. Anybody else? Okay, now... Um, People everywhere drink Coca-Cola. What do you have? Letter G. Since it advertises real life. Mm -hmm. Sounds excellent. Does anybody else have a different answer or a different match? Everybody has the same. Okay, what about Apple? Apple products are famous. What do you have? Letter B for the innovative designs. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Um, now, Nike is a popular brand of clothing. Letter H, because the advertising is clever and entertaining. Yeah, I got the same. Many people like mega stores. Letter F, for the big choice of products. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you so much for your answers. And if anybody else in the section has different answer, yes, more than one is possible. Thank you so much for sharing your um, matchings, um, Emerson. Now let's continue. And the next exercise that you have there is the listening about the radio commercials. You have this exercise in the handout. So. I'll give you time for you to write in your notebooks in case that you haven't printed the material. We can work in the notebooks as well. So we're going to listen and then uh, you have to, to complete this information. What are two special features for each place? We have one and two Maggie's Sport Pro Mexico. I'm giving you time for you to write, um, or to draw a little chart in your notebook. 
And uh, we're going to listen to the three radio commercials for Maggie's, for Sport Pro, and for Mexic Grill. What you're going to do is to write the two special features of each place. Okay, I'm going to play the audio. Page 82, Exercise 9, Listening. Radio Commercials. Part A. Listen to radio commercials for three different businesses. What are two special features of each place? Maggie's. Oh, Carol, what a great suit. It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow, but her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? And on our salary. Hey, did you get a raise? No way. You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions, not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices, and we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. Sports Pro. Hey, people. What are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? Maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So, feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro, we're here to help you have fun. Mexigrill. Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only, you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. Page 82, Exercise 9, Listening. Radio Commercials. Part A. Listen to radio commercials for three different businesses. What are two special features of each place? Maggie's. Oh, Carol, what a great suit. It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow! But her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? 
And on our salary. Hey, did you get a raise? No way. You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions, not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices, and we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. Sports Pro. Hey, people, what are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? Maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So, feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro, we're here to help you have fun. Mexigrill. Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only, you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. Okay, what are the two special features of Maggie's? Did you complete all the information or do you want to listen one more time? Yes, I have one more question. I miss that sports pro. Okay, not a problem. I'll play it one more time. Page 82, exercise 9, listening. Radio commercials. Part A. Listen to radio commercials for three different businesses. What are two special features of each place? Maggie's. Oh, Carol, what a great suit. It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow, but her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? And on our salary. Hey, did you get a raise? No way. You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions, not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices, and we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. 
Sports Pro. Hey, people, what are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? Maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So, feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro. We're here to help you have fun. Mexigrill. Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. What are the two features for Maggie's? Yes? What do you have? Well, I had the uh, latest, latest fashions and the uh, Maggie's stores accept all the credit cards. Uh-huh. Yes, excellent. Designer fashions are at the lowest prices and they accept all major credit cards. Great. Now, what about Sports Pro? Sports Pro? They open every day. Uh huh. They are open every day. What else? Well, they have experienced salespeople. Okay, they are, yes, experienced salespeople or knowledgeable salespeople, and they are open every day. So, great. What about Mexico Grill? Low prices. Low prices? Okay, what else? Guacamole with spicy salsa. Mm, any combination of fillings available and fast service at a low price. So yes, mm -hmm. you close, really close. <laughs> but very well done, excellent. Now, uh, for the last exercise we have here is the listening and complete each slogan. Okay. Let's complete these slogans. So if you want, you can just write Number one, and fill in the, the missing parts of the slogans. Page 82, exercise nine, part B. Listen again. Complete each slogan. Maggie's. Oh, Carol, what a great suit. It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow! But her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? And on our salary? Hey, did you get a raise? No way! You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions. 
not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices, and we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. Sports Pro. Hey, people, what are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? Maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So, feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro, we're here to help you have fun. Mexigrill. Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only, you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. Okay, so what is the complete slogan for number one, Maggie's? See what you want in your closet. Come check it out. Excellent. Yes, see closet and check out. Excellent. Number two, for pro. Volunteer for sports pro. What do you have? What's their slogan? Sports Pro? Yeah. We're here to help you have fun. Excellent. We're here to help you have fun. Excellent. Thank you so much. And finally, number three. You won't find a cheaper tasting meal anywhere. Excellent. Very good with this listening. Uh, you won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. That's good. So, um, I think this is the last exercise on this. Cause the well, we have one more in the material, but this is about catchy slogan. So catchy is a como que se fácil que se quede en verdad en la mente y uno los anda repitiendo. So, but that's like not a big, um, uh, it's not something that you cannot do alone. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it in order to practice. So that's it for tonight's uh, class. Congratulations, you finished your model. Remember to complete the platform. And if you need help, you can always write. We have the WhatsApp group available. So thank you so much for joining and see you around. Have a good night and sleep well.
Thank you so much, teacher. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Very, very thanks. See you in the next model, teacher. I have the. I'll be glad too. Bye, take care.